this is my tutorial for my cable knit bracelet. This was actually my first version. And I played around with the different graduation of colors. And then I went really big for these guys. So I'm going to show you how to do both of these. Do one that's the, a little bit smaller, and then the one that's bigger has the extra row in there. I do have some ones that I did trying out different patterns. So these are all like the first half of the bracelet. I tried to do fire and it didn't it wasn't cooperating. So these are all versions that I did. Different ones. So you can use like graph paper to like figure out your pattern. Like this one I did all clear except for red, white, and blue. These are with the jellies. I really like this this one. Rainbow and I like the pink and purple together. And this one I really tried but I kind of gave up on it. I think it looks really cool with the black though. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do these. And this one has three. That one, the pattern didn't turn out very well, but there's three. And I'll show you what I mean by three. So to start off, you need your loom offset. And for the, the smaller ones, you're only going to be using the two outer rows. Um, sorry about that. You're going to put double bands. <clears throat> make sure the arrows are pointing away. Double bands on each peg all the way to the top. So you're going to start here and go all the way to the very top on both sides. Okay, so now for the middle part. Okay, so I'm going to show you different ways that I did this because I made a lot of these and my fingers got really sore. So I'm going to show you some tricks I did. Okay, so you're going to take a... I like to use whatever color I'm using for my perimeter bands. And I use this finger and I double up on there. So I put a cap band on there. So then... You're going to take your, your color, your next color, and you're going to double it on that finger. So now you're going to stick your hook through there and grab and pull it through like that. Really easy. This is actually really simple. It is a little time consuming, not like the sea coral, but... So then you're just going to keep adding bands. So when I said that that one had three on it, that had three colors. So when I when I say the number, it means... Here, I'll show you. Let's finish this one. So do yellow. Okay, so doing these, this finger got really sore. So I started using a paper clip and I would bend it out <clears throat> I would bend it out like this. And see so my next color is green. So I would take the band and put it on here like that. And pull it through like that. So that way is pretty simple. And then, because I did so many, this started hurting because it's pokey. So instead of doing it on here, I went and I, I had some chopsticks in the in my cupboard. So I put some paper towel, like wadded it up in there, folded it up, and I tied it off with some bands and duct taped the end. So then I used this. So these are just, I mean, if you're only making one bracelet, it's actually much faster if you use your fingers. But like I said, I was doing so many of these that it started hurting. Alright, and purple. So, like I said, the number 
is how many bands that are going to show up in the design. So this one I have six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm not counting my start band or my end band. So when you get to the end band, see how that's doubled? You're going to pull this through just, you don't have to double it, just pull it through like that. So there is one cable knit. So, like I said, if it's three, I don't count the, the beginning and the end, it's the middle part. So you're just going to skip this one. And put that on there like that. So I do like it when it graduates color. So to do this one, and I have some already made, more paper clips that I deformed and used. So this is what I was doing last night. Let's see, and I want, so I'm going to take this one off because I know that these are in order. I am so in love with this design and I like when I show you that I love the rainbow ones. So pretty. And like I said, it is a little time consuming. But I think it's definitely worth it. So this one has six colors for the middle part and I I go back and forth with how many needs the extra row in the middle. And I actually, I think it looks better without the extra one in the middle, but when you're doing the big ones, you need it because they'll, they'll bend out of shape a little bit. So usually six is like my cutoff for that extra row. And see how it's graduating, like if the purple's going down. I had to put these in order because, you know, doing a tutorial on any pattern confuses me. Patterns confuse me anyway. And I like doing tutorials to show you how to do it on one loom. I know a lot of you have more than one loom, but there's a lot of people that don't. And I was used to get mad at, you know, when I watch stuff and they say, you know, you need six, to, you know, looms for this. I'm like, oh, great. How am I supposed to do that? So, and I've said before, I only use rainbow loom bands because I know they test for a bunch of stuff and I know they're safe to wear. And they have so, so many neat colors now. They have, oh, I'm just going to show you this. I'm in love with this. This is a deep purple. I don't know if it's showing up very well. I love this color. Purple is my favorite color. And I always, you know, they had originally just the lavender. And I love purple. So I'm very happy. So thank you, Rainbow Loom, for putting those out. I got some of the Persian bands, too. They're so pretty. Okay, so now I would say most people you just have to do this twice. I like mine bigger. I don't like anything tight on my wrist. It has to be really loose. So I, I do this in a little extra. So I'm going to show you how to transfer it. So you're not going to do the end one. And we're going to put two cat bands on here. So just double it up. Okay, and then you're going to loop this up. So you're going to go, uh, see, this is, okay, this is a very good example of what not to do. I can't even tell you how many times I do this. I do, I start on the wrong end. So when you go to loop, turn the loom around. So that's a good lesson I'm teaching you, right? But my mistakes. Okay, so now we're going to put the cat bands on the right end. And when you're doing the pattern, it's really, like I said, I've done this so many times, and I'll get my loom ready, all looped up to transfer it. 
and I put the pattern in the wrong direction so many times. So pay attention to your pattern when you go to the transfer. Okay, so now go under the cap band and grab both of those bands. Get off there. Should be using my rainbow loom hook, it's much easier. Okay, so you're going to loop this all the way up to the top. I think I need my other one. So just remember to grab both of those bands that are on the bottom. Okay, so we're going to do this all the way up to the top, and then you're going to do the same thing for this side, and then we'll come back. Okay, so we are all looped up. So all the way to the top, correct top. And because you're going to transfer this, you're going to want to, this is what I do. I take two paper clips and I bend them out just a little bit. I never realized how versatile paper clips are. So I put this in there like that. So if you just wanted to Put your hook in there. You don't have that. I don't know what else you could use. This just works really good. Okay. So I'm gonna pull this off. Okay, see this is like this might have I might have done the middle row for this one. It's a little bit big. It's really pretty though. Okay. So this is the first part, and if you have two looms, then just put your looms together and go straight up the, the whole thing, and you can save this part. You can just like fast forward. Okay, so I have my loom all ready to go. I do have two looms, so I did this so it would go faster. So you're going to skip, make sure, that, see how that... Like they're like that. Okay. So you're going to skip this one and you're going to continue your pattern on up to here, but don't do the very end one. So I found like the first time I ever transferred, I just put this on there and then I put my other one across. But you can see it and it really bugs me when I do that. So I like to put it in the middle like it would be a continuation like a regular bracelet so but because it's the same color it might not show up as bad but I know it's there so I have to do it okay so very carefully let go of the back side let me make sure I'm doing that right I'm doing right I think we're good okay yes see I get very nervous with these patterns and I'll even like look at it and still do it wrong. Okay, so you do the same thing for the other side. So just be really careful. Like I said, these paper clips come in very, very handy. Okay. So now, where'd it go? This would be the continuation of the pattern, right? Is that the word? What I actually what I I'll show you what I usually like to do is take the side that was the the last part and put it on there first. And then you kind of see how this like lays cuz like sometimes I can get a little twisted up. So kind of just see which way lays the flattest. Sometimes it'll be a little bit off. Maybe that way. Okay. And then these very carefully. I say that mostly to myself. Put that on there like that. So it's a lot easier when you're doing just the same pattern for your bracelet. Like if you just did them all like this particular cable knit. It's much easier. You don't mess up as much. Or I don't mess up as much. Okay. So that is going on. So you have your everything all done. 
I'm going to go in here and you're going to grab under all those and grab the bottom two, two, and pull those up. And so you're just going to continue on. Loop this up. I've actually been doing this version for a while, but I get nervous now putting things on Instagram because things get stolen and people say it's theirs. My designs are like my babies. So I get very sad when people say they created it. Because I'm their mother, not them. I'm weird, right? Okay. Move this all the way up. Let's see if I edit this part out. Talking. So, this is probably perfect for a younger person. Like I said, I like them to be big on me. So, I usually do this a little bit more than just the two. But that's me. So this will probably be plenty for a young adult. Okay, since I'm going to do more later, because I'm going to add on to this one, but just to show you. So I'm just doing the same thing with the, the paper clips. Okay, it's like so cool. So like I said, I because I like mine bigger, I will probably add a little more. So what I usually do is I start, so this is where you loop up from. So I usually add at least four extra little guys. So this would be one, two, three, and four. So then you would start with your bands here. So you would you just do the same exact transfer thing that you just did. This is only if you want to make it really big for like if you're making it for your an adult. So you would do the exact same thing you just did with the transfer part. And this would be the end. So you'd put your other bands on there, and then you would transfer this just like you did before, and then you would end up with your end. Okay, so once you're at the end, I'll just do this side. Okay, let's put this hook in there first so I don't lose it all. Okay. So if you're ending it, you don't need to put the paper clips and I just do this tie it off okay so you're gonna pull this through here and then you get a c-clip which I forgot okay do that to the other side. Sometimes I forget the camera. I need to stay in camera range. Okay. So this is tied off. And you would take you might want to do like an extra one on here because that is kind of small. And like, you know, you do not want this tight on you. So, tie that off like that. Let's see if I have it. So it'll look like that at the end. 
All right, so that is the first one without that middle row. And I probably could have put the middle row though, but I like it so much better without. Although sometimes it makes it look like more uniform when you're doing the same pattern, which I'm going to do for my next one. So I'm going to show you what that's all about. Okay, so I'm going to get my name ready for the second one. Put you back here. Okay, so for the second part, originally I was going to do it like this. I had this one ready to go to be transferred. But I'm not liking... I, I alternated, like, the red starts here, then here, then here, then here. And it looks kind of cool. It kind of makes it pop out a little bit, but I like it better. I'm going all the same way for that one. Okay, so I'm going to take that apart. Just want to show you what it looked like in case you want to try that out. Here is the finish for the the first one we did. I did add five extra. So the one I showed you, I actually added one more. But it's really loose on me. But I like it that way. So, really pretty. Okay. So, for to do the bigger, so this is like if you're going to do six colors or seven or eight. I think the highest I've done is eight. I think. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to try nine. So you are going to, I'm going to do, I'm going to do black this time. So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to do the double bands. Make sure the arrow is pointing away. Double bands all the way up on both sides. And then in the middle, you're going to do single clear bands. So if you don't have clear, I don't know, maybe I would do the color that maybe would be in the middle or the same color as the perimeter. But the clears are awesome. So if you don't have clear, I might just do white for everything. So this is how you're going to set up the loom. I have one all set up. My cable knit's on there already. Just like those chefs on TV. They put all together and say, pull out the oven. This is what it looks like. So what I found you know, earlier with me messing up with the, the design, once you get these bands on here, then you can turn the loom and put these guys on this way, and then you know this is the way they're going. That helps me a lot. But doing the tutorial, it kind of you know, went backwards. So, but once these have to go on with the arrow pointing away. But once that's on, then you can flip it because these are just on top. Okay. So now to loop it up, you're going to flip it around. So I did not do, these three do not have anything on them except for cat bands. And then, so this is what it looks like on top. So there is a band there. It's clear. You can't really see it. So there's nothing on these two. So as far as the first one, you just do the same thing on the sides like you did before. The middle one, really simple. You're just going to go under that cat band and grab that bottom one and just pull it up. Go inside there. So really simple. This really doesn't need really that much extra as far as teaching it, but just the the transfer part. So I'm going to finish looping this up and then I'm going to show you how to transfer it over. Since I don't have that ready to go. Okay, so I have it all looped up, so I did the sides, up the center, and the other side. And you're going to take the paper clips like you did before for the two sides. And then you get another paper clip and do one for that middle one. And then you're going to pull this off. You know, a lot of people ask me about my nails, where I get them done. I do my own nails because I'm really cheap. So if you go on Instagram, I usually do a close-up so you can see how to do it. I usually do simple designs. That's why my left hand is always better than my right. Okay. So there is 
that part of it. I love black with rainbow. I just think it makes it stand out so much. Okay. So I have mine ready to go, almost. Actually, that's funny. Okay. So you're going to do the same thing you did before with the first one very carefully. Put this on there. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, well, be careful. Ha. Okay. Now for this one, you let that back one go. You put that on there, like that. So then you're, he's gonna go in here and do this one first. See that? And that is how you transfer that over. So, like I said, if you have two looms, but even if you have two looms, if you wanted it a little bit bigger, you do need to transfer this over. And just make sure you don't make them too tight. Is that even on there? Holy cow. Okay. So now you're just going to continue and loop up like you did before. So I'll meet you back here. Okay, so I took it off the limb. And so that's two, and I wanted to add the extra. But I wanted to say one more thing. Make sure that you loop this one right here. Because like this is just the transfer part right here. I've forgotten that a couple of times because it's like kind of hidden in there. So just make sure that you get that done. Or it will fall apart. But actually I've learned how to do the center up. As long as the, the outside ones don't get messed up, you're good. And another thing too is you know, just remember that there's two bands on this side. And remember to grab both. It's another reason why I like having the double bands on the side because if one breaks, it still will stay together. But it just wouldn't be as thick. So I did figure out how to do my videos longer. So now I have to do it in two parts. Which makes me very happy. Okay, so I'm going to tie this off and then we'll recap everything and try to see if there's anything I forgot. See you in a minute. So here is the finished bracelets. So for the the middle one you just do an extra C clip. A lot of times I double up. I don't know if you can see that on the C clips. Just to make it a little bit stronger. That's the way I like it. And I love, love, love the way these rainbow ones turn out. I think it looks like tie dye. I almost that's almost the name I gave for the bracelet because it looks like tie-dye. But I thought if you want to do it this way. So I thought it looked like a sweater, like a cable knit sweater. So that's where that came from. So there it is, my tutorial for the cable knit bracelet. And make sure if you make any of these that you put them on Instagram, hashtag SeawolfFCL, and so I can see them. I love being able to see the designs after they're done. So, thanks for watching. <laughs>